Welcome to quiz time. I'm your quiz master, Sean, and I've got a hundred questions for you about stuff, news, entertainment, history, geography, entertainment. And we do this to have fun and to keep our brains young. And this one's especially for baby boomers. Let's begin, shall we? The baby boomer generation starts from 1946 to when? 1960, 1964, or 1966? The boomers were from 46 to 64. What number did you used to have to dial to direct a call? One, nine, or zero? Back in the day, you used to have to dial zero to direct a call. Finish this popular Bing Crosby and the Andrews Sisters song, Pistol Packin', was it Pistol Packin' Pete? Was it Pistol Packin' Mama? Or Pistol Packin' Papa? It was a Pistol Packin' Mama. What was the name of the first James Bond movie? Dr. No, Thunderball, or From Russia with Love? The first James Bond movie was Dr. No. And in what year was it released? Was it 1960? Was it 1961? Or was it 1962? It was released in 1962. What color were S and H licking stamps? Were they green? Were they white? Or were they red? S and H licking stamps. Oh my goodness, we all collected them here in, a, in the United States. Also called green stamps. Which actress started along, starred alongside Elvis Presley in the 1957 musical Jailhouse Rock? Julie Christie, Judy Tyler, or Natalie Wood? Starring alongside Elvis Presley was Judy Tyler in that movie. Complete this Marvin Gaye song title, Got to Give. Is it got to give it up? Is it got to give you more? Or is it got to give my love? Got to give it up. Banana seats were found on what type of transport during the baby boomer years? Would you find them on airplanes? Would you find them on cars? Or would you find them on bicycles? A banana seat would be found on a bicycle. Who sang the 1964 song, Oh Pretty Woman? Was that Roy Orbison? Was it Manfred Mann? Or was it the Beach Boys? Oh pretty woman, walking down the street. Roy Orbison it was. True or false, baby boomers are known for fixing things themselves. Is that true or is that false? Well, talk about a stereotype. It's true. Which of these movies is known as an icon of hippie culture? Butterflies are free, Easy Rider, or The Edge of Paradise? Easy Rider. Complete this popular 60s song titled by the Supremes. Come see, come saw, come see the sunset, or come see about me. Come see about me. The Mickey Mouse Club is a kids TV show that first aired in what year? Was it 1955? Was it 1960? Or was it 1963? 
The Mickey Mouse Club first aired in 1955. Who sang the 1964 song, Where Did Our Love Go? Johnny Mitchell, Shirley Temple, or Diana Ross? And that song was sung by Diana Ross. What type of animal was the cartoon character Baby Huey? A chick, a duck, or a canary? Baby Huey was a duck. September was a hit 1978 song by which band? Fleetwood Mac, Hall and Oates, or Earth, Wind, and Fire? September was a hit by Earth, Wind, and Fire. Dick Van Dyke and Margaret and Janet Lee starred in which 1963 musical? Bye Bye Birdie, My Fair Lady, or The Sound of Music? Those three worked together in Bye Bye Birdie. Who sang the 1961 song, Can't Help Falling in Love? Del Shannon, Elvis Presley, or the Kingsman? Elvis Presley, falling in love. With. Complete this 1969 Creedence Clearwater Revival song, Bad Moon Rising, Bad Moon Blues, or Bad Moon Boogie. That would be a Bad Moon Rising. Who did singer Aretha Franklin marry in 1961? Did she marry Peter Pock, William Marshall, or Ted White? Aretha Franklin married Ted White. In what year was the movie Jaws released? 1969, 1973, or 1975? Da -dum, da -dum. Jaws was released in 1975. Will You Still Love Me Tomorrow was a hit 1960s song by which group? The Shirelles, The Flirtations, or The Lovin' Spoonful? That was a hit song by The Shirelles. In what year did actor James Dean die? 1954, 1955, or 1956? James Dean died in 1955. Who sang the popular 1969 song, Cinnamon Girl? Roy Orbison, Bob Dylan, or Neil Young? Cinnamon Girl was sung by Neil Young. True or false? There were over 70 million baby boomers born in the U.S. from 1946 to 1964. And that is true. A Rainbow in Curved Air was a 1969 album by which composer? Steve Reich, Terry Ryler, Terry Riley, or Philip Glass? And that was composed by Terry Riley. Donald Duck had what kind of popular drink in the 1960s? Was it Donald Duck orange juice, apple juice, or was he selling Ovaltine? Donald Duck was selling orange juice. The Cartwrights were an all-male family from which TV show? Dallas, Bonanza, or The Big Valley? 
The Cartwrights were the starring family in Bonanza. Complete the band name, James Brown and the, was it James Brown and the Famous Five? James Brown and the Famous Freddies? Or James Brown and the Famous Flames? It was James Brown and the Famous Flames. Who did Marlon Brando marry in 1960? Did he marry Anna Kashfi? Did he marry Movita Castaneda? Castaneda? Or did he marry Ava Gardner? He married Movita Castaneda. Who sang the 1969 hit song, Son of a Preacher Man? Nancy Sinatra, The Temptations, or Dusty Springfield? And that would be Dusty Springfield. Which 60s actor became known as the King of Cool? Was it Steve McQueen, Paul Newman, or Sal Mineo? The King of Cool. That was Steve McQueen. What was the name of the popular line of 60s domestic toys for girls? Susie Housemaker, Susie Homemaker, or Susie Bakeware? And that would be Susie Homemaker. Complete this 1964 Simon and Garfunkel song title, The Sound of Silence? Or was it The Sound of Music? Or the sound of love. It was the sound of silence. Who played the lead role in the 1959 Western movie Rio Bravo? Clint Eastwood, Gary Cooper, or John Wayne? The lead role in Rio Bravo, that was John Wayne. Pete Townsend was the lead guitarist for which band? The Rolling Stones, The Who, or The Kinks? Pete Townsend was the lead guitarist for The Who. Who sang the controversial 1969 song, Fist City? Loretta Lynn, Gail Costa, or Patsy Cline? It was Loretta Lynn. Complete this 1961 Sidney Poitier movie titled A Raisin in the... Is it A Raisin in the Drain? A Raisin in the Sun? Or A Raisin in the Tooth? It was A Raisin in the Sun. Karen and Richard were singing siblings... Siblings better known as the, the Osmonds, the Bengals, or the Carpenters. Karen and Richard were the brother and sister duo, the Carpenters. American Woman was a hit 1970s song by whom? Steely Dan, the Guess Who, or was it Aerosmith? American Woman was a hit song by The Guess Who. True or false, the women's liberation movement began in the 1960s. Is that true or is that false? That is true. Which of these Disney movies was not made during the baby boomer generation? The Jungle Book, Sleeping Beauty, or Peter Pan? Of those three, The Jungle Book was not made during the boomer generation. Lady, Lay, Lady, Lay was a popular 1969 song by which artist? Elvis Presley, Van Morrison, 
or was it Bob Dylan? That would be Bob Dylan. The Flip Wilson Show was a popular 70s show that aired on what day of the week? Did it air on Mondays, Thursdays, or Saturdays? The Flip Wilson Show aired on Thursdays. Hippie Hippie Shake is a famous 1964 song by which group? Was it the Birds, the Stooges, or the Swingin' Blue Jeans? It was by the Swingin' Blue Jeans. Which of these actors is a baby boomer? Jeff Goldblum, Charlie Sheen, or Tom Selleck? Of the three, Jeff Goldblum is a baby boomer. Ain't That a Kick in the Head was a hit 1960 song for which singer? Frank Sinatra, Bing Crosby, or Dean Martin? That would be Dean Martin. You don't need a weatherman to know which way the wind blows is a song lyric by whom? Elton John, Bob Dylan, or Van Morrison? That's a song lyric by Bob Dylan. In what year was the original Star Wars movie released? 1971, 1973, or 1977? Originally, Star Wars re was released in 1977. Tie-dye shirts and bell-bottom jeans were most popular in what decade? The 1950s, the 1960s, or the 1970s? They were popular in the 1960s. All Day and All of the Night was a hit 1964 song by which band? The Kinks, The Monkees, or The Zombies? And that would be The Kinks. In what year did the Beatles come to America? 1962, 1964, or 1966? The Beatles came to America in 1964. And in what year did the band finally break up? 1968, 1970, or 1974? They broke up in 1974. True or false? Adam Sandler, Will Smith, and Jennifer Lopez are all baby boomers. Is that true or is that false? That is all false. Those are all Gen Xers. Carrie Ann was a popular 1967 song by which group? The Animals, The Hollies, or The Michaels? Carrie Ann was a song by The Hollies. In what year did martial arts actor Bruce Lee die? 1970, 1972, or 1973? Bruce Lee died in 1973. What was the name of the Flintstones' pet dinosaur? Was it Dino, Snork, or Bam Bam? The Flintstones' pet dinosaur was named Dino. Complete the band name. Quicksilver Space Servers? Quicksilver on the Rocks? 
or Quicksilver Messenger Service. The band name was Quicksilver Messenger Service. Who sang the famous 1961 song, Crazy, Dolly Parton, Patsy Cline, or Johnny Mitchell? That was sung by Patsy Cline, written by Willie Nelson. DC-5 is the abbreviation of which band? Detective Comics 5, District of Columbia 5, or the Dave Clark 5? That would be the Dave Clark 5. Time of the Season was a popular 1968 song by which group? The Zombies, the Beach Boys, or the Isley Brothers? That's a song by the Zombies. Who starred in the 1949 movie, The Third Man? Humphrey Bogart, James Cagney, or was it Orson Welles? Orson Welles starred in the movie, The Third Man. Who sang the hit 1967 song, Ta Can't Take My Eyes Off You? The Four Seasons, The Holding Company, or The Temptations? That was sung by The Four Seasons. Who played the Pink Panther in the 1963 movie? Was it David Niven? Was it Peter Sellers? Or was it Robert Wagner? Sacre bleu, it was Pete Sellers. Eric Clapton was the guitarist for which popular 60s, 60s band? Cream, Pink Floyd, or The Doors? And that would be Cream. Complete this 1970 Beatles song title. The Long And, is it The Long and Hard Journey? The Long and Still Longer Night? Or The Long and Winding Road? It was The Long and Winding Road. Who played the role of Brit in the 1960 movie, The Magnificent Seven? Charles Bronson, James Coburn, or Steve McQueen? It was James Coburn. Complete this 1972 song titled by Lou Reed. Walk on, is it walk on by, walk on little lady, or walk on the wild side? It was walk on the wild side. Eunice Kathleen Waymon is the birth name of which of these singers? Shirley Bassey, Nina Simone, or Kate Bush? And that would be Nina Simone. In what year was the movie The Godfather released? 1972, 1973, or 1975? The Godfather was originally released in 1972. Someone to Love was a popular 1967 song by whom? Merle Haggard, The Silver Apples, or Jefferson Airplane? That was by Jefferson Airplane. Which singer and actor was known as the King of the Cowboys? James Stewart, Rory Rogers, or John Wayne? The King of the Cowboys. Well, that was Roy Rogers. Smoke on the Water was a 1972 song by whom? 
was it Led Zeppelin, Rolling Stones, or was that Deep Purple? That was Deep Purple. Who directed a 1978 horror movie, Halloween? John Carpenter, Wes Craven, or Clive Barker? That was John Carpenter. Which jazz musician was originally known as the Beale Street Blues Boy? Was that Louis Armstrong, B.B. King, or Chet Baker? <coughs> that was B.B. <coughs> <B>. King. <coughs> Finished his Isley Brothers song title. Footsteps in the... Is it Footsteps in the Night? Footsteps in the Rain? Or Footsteps in the Dark? It is Footsteps in the Dark. Who sang the classic 1964 song, House of the Rising Sun? The Animals? The Kinks? Or was it The Rolling Stones? House of the Rising Sun was by the animals. Lou Reed was the lead singer of which of these bands? The Animals, The Lovin' Spoonful, or The Velvet Underground? And that was The Velvet Underground. Roe v. Wade was a famous Supreme Court case about what issue? Conscription, abortion, or gay rights? Roe v. Wade was all about abortion. And in what year was a final verdict reached? 1971, 1972, or 1973? That verdict was reached in 1973. Who sang the hit 1971 song, Horse With No Name? America, Eagles, or Jetro Tull? And that would be America. What breed of dog was the cartoon dog Snoopy? A Dalmatian, a Beagle, or a Spaniel? And that would be a Beagle. Who sang the popular 1957 song Bye Bye Love? The Everly Brothers, the Isley Brothers, or the Allman Brothers? And that would be the Everly Brothers. Complete this 1950s movie title starring Joan Fontaine. Born to be, born to be wild, born to be free, or born to be bad. Born to be bad. What was the name of the van in the Scooby-Doo cartoon? The Crime Buster, The Mystery Machine, or The Paw Patrol? It was The Mystery Machine. Complete the band name, Tom Petty and the... Was it Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers, Tom Petty and the Heart Throbs, or Tom Petty and the Heart Stoppers? Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers. Which of these celebrities is not a baby boomer? Liam Neeson, Sandra Bullock, or Matt LeBlanc? Of those three, Matt LeBlanc is not a baby boomer. 
What is Van Halen's first name? Is it Richie, Eddie, or Kerwin Van Halen? It is Eddie Van Halen. In what year did Sesame Street first hit TV screens? 1963, 1967, or 1969? It first hit TV screens in 1969. Finish this 1958 Everly Brothers song. All I have to do is dream, believe, or love. All I have to do is dream. The rock band Rush formed in 1968 in which country? The United States, the United Kingdom, or Canada? Rush was formed in Canada. People Are Strange was a hit 1967 song by which band? Chicago, The Doors, or The Who? People Are Strange by The Doors. Marsha, Cindy, and Greg were all members of which TV family? The Waltons, Full House, or The Brady Bunch? They were half the kids on The Brady Bunch. Complete this 1961 Patsy Cline song. I fall, I fall to pieces, I fall head over heels, or I fall in love. I fall to pieces, to pieces. Who sang the catchy 1972 song, Superstition? Was that James Brown? Was it Bill Withers? Or was it Stevie Wonder? That's a song by Stevie Wonder. Stairway to Heaven is a well-known 70s song by which rock band? Fleetwood Mac, Led Zeppelin, or the Blue Oyster Cult? That's a song by Led Zeppelin. Actress Goldie Hawn got her big break in which 1969 movie? Cactus Flower, Dolce Vita, or Charade? Her big break came in the form of the Cactus Flower. True or false? There was a popular band in the 60s known as the Baby Boomers. Is that true or is that false? And that is false. I never heard of them. The Tonight Show first aired during which decade? The 1940s, the 1950s, or the 1960s? The Tonight Show first aired during the 1950s. And that was question 100. Thanks for playing Quiz Time. Don't forget to drop your score in the comments, please. And like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell so you never miss Quiz Time when it comes out. And we try to produce this as often as we possibly can. Thanks for playing, and we'll catch you in the next one.